Hey everyone, I want to kick off a new Amazon KDP tutorial series. In this video series, we will explore keyword research strategies for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. Whether you are a pro or a beginner for Amazon KDP, these updated keyword research strategies will help you make more money in 2024. And here is the best part. Unlike the other tutorials, we won't rely on any paid tools or Chrome extensions. Everything we explore will be free and beginner friendly. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive into this. So firstly, what is keyword research? Keyword research is the process of identifying the most frequently searched words and phrases that customers type into the Amazon search engine when looking for products. The goal is to strategically incorporate these keywords into your product's title, subtitle, backend keywords, product description, and a content to improve its visibility on Amazon's search engine results page. By doing so, your products will have a higher chance of being organically ranked at the top of the search results, which can help increase its visibility and sales. Before going into detail about my updated KDP keyword research strategies for 2024, I would like to take a moment to clarify the definition of different keyword types and keyword match types for e-commerce. When it comes to keyword types, we can divide them into three main categories. Head, body, and long tail. Let's start with head terms. These are typically single word keywords that have a high search volume and competition. For KDP low content books, examples of head terms include notebooks or journals. However, because the customer's search intent is not always clear, head terms usually don't convert the sales very well. For instance, someone searching for notebooks might be looking for a composition notebook, graph paper notebook, or blank notebook. On the other hand, Body keywords are 2-3 word phrases that get decent search volume but are more specific than head keywords. Examples of body keywords for KDP low content books include Notebooks College Rules or Notebooks for Work. These keywords almost always have a less competition than head terms. The last category for keyword types is Long Tail Keywords. Long Tail Keywords are typically longer phrases that are more specific and less frequently searched. Examples of long tail keywords for KDP low content books include Notebooks College Rules 8.5 by 11 and Composition Notebooks College Rules 8.5 by 11. Although these terms don't get a lot of search volume individually, they make up the majority of searches online when combined. Because they are less competitive and more specific, long tail keywords usually convert to sales better than other types of keywords. Let's also talk about keyword match types. While many people think that keyword match types are only related to ad campaigns on Amazon or Google, what most people don't realize is that the keyword match types that you use in your title or subtitle have a bearing on the organic search results you achieve. That's why I would like to take a moment to define each match type to help you better understand the logic of search engines. The three keyword match types are broad, phrase, and exact. If you are using Amazon ads, you should be familiar with these terms. However, as I said, they are also important for organic search results. I will give an example about it at the end of this section. The first keyword match type is broad match. If you choose broad match in your Amazon ads campaign, the search term will match if it contains all the keyword terms in any order. Broad match also includes singulars, plurals, variations, synonyms, and related terms as determined by the meaning of the keyword and the context of the advertised products. For example, if your broad match keyword is kids school notebooks, your ads may appear in search results for school notebooks for kids. The second keyword match type is phrase match. With phrase match, your ad may appear when a customer searches for either your exact phrase or sequence of words in your keyword. It is more restrictive than a broad match and will generally result in more relevant placements for your ads. Phrase match also includes the plural form of the keyword. For example, if your phrase match keyword is kids school notebooks, your ad may appear in search results for kids school notebooks for girls. However, it won't appear if any customer type school notebooks for kids, as this is not in the same order as the keyword term. The third keyword match type is exact match. With exact match, shopping queries must appear exactly in the keywords advertiser selects, but only searches that include all of the words in the same sequence will be eligible for impressions. The search query needs to be in the same order and cannot contain additional words. The exact match is the most restrictive match type but can be more relevant to a search. The exact match also includes the plural form of the keyword. For example, if your exact match keyword is kids school notebooks, your ads will appear in search results for kids school notebook. 
However, it won't appear if any customers type kids school notebooks for girls, as this contains additional words. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, keyword match types are commonly used for Amazon ads. They play a crucial role in determining how close the keywords you bid on align with customer shopping queries. However, if you check the KDP Help Center, you will realize that these match types are equally vital for organic search results. They say here that combine keywords in the most logical order. Customers search for military science fiction, but probably not for fiction science military. This means that they give more weight to exact match and phrase match. Therefore, you should better put your keywords in your title according to Amazon auto suggestions without altering the order of these words. As the auto suggested keywords were previously searched by customers frequently, you may have more chances to match with customer search queries. And if you are curious about how to find most frequently searched words and phrases on Amazon without relying on paid tools or Chrome extensions, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and you will receive a notification when I upload the second video of this KDP keyword research tutorial series. Thanks for watching. See you soon.